Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Nifty Sunlight. Uh, I've been looking at a lot, a lot of crafter and gatherer leveling guides, and most of them are pretty trash. So I wanted to make one myself. So first, you're going to need a at least a high level. Uh, Disciple Warrior, Disciple Master. Decent around level 30, maybe level 40, but that's when you should start crafting and gathering. And I would recommend a level 50 if you're really gonna go at it. So we don't have to worry about story or like having for certain things like teleporting. And, um, I'm going to make guide on all of them, uh, one at a time, and we'll just see from there how it goes. Uh, so, I'm going to make separate videos, and you can basically click which one you want to level up. I'm leveling them all, and that's why I recommend you, so you can get a but why not? If you want to just level, like, a gatherer or a crafter, that's fine too. It just means you'll be spending a lot more gill on crafting mats for each of the crafters and gatherers. So, first thing you'll want to do is go to any any city that you plan on going to. What not? And I guess we'll just start with getting each of the classes first. So I'm gonna show you which area you need to be. So this is Wenza, Wenza Lomonza, or Lima as I like to call it. And this is the armor and blacksmith. They are located in the upper Linoska. You can just go right from the Aetherite up these stairs and then down here and are right here. 10, X, 14, Y. And I already have them unlocked, but basically you go over to here. And there should be two, these two should have a blue quest above their head. You accept. And then you uh, equip the thing it gave you after joining. And this is the guild master for blacksmith. Armor split. And this is the blacksmith. Uh, it's your typical blacksmith armor. I'll go into detail once we get parts. But then you're gonna want to head down to. After you going there, if you want Colin Iron, aka the cook, he's down this way. I'm not gonna double it there. Just show you people who don't have all the eighth rights in the towns you need in order to eat your area. You basically, head straight from the Armors and Blacksmith Guild, and it's right over there. I won't walk through. This one is for culinarians, sorry for your food. Of the game, they uh, once you level up high enough, you can get stuff like strength boost, and intelligence, and whatnot. Talk to this person, the receptionist, who'll have a blue quest. You accept it, and then you go up here for your guild master. He will give you all your guild quests, and he will tell you to cook stuff. And that's all the. There's one more. Uh, I'll go and I'll come back. Next is Oldach. Sticks of Nold. And it all depends on which class you pick whenever you make your character, is which city you'll spawn in first. So if you want, you can start crafting and gathering in your starting city. If you want to at level 1, I don't recommend it. I recommend playing the story, but sometimes story can get boring and leveling up your main class can be. 
So this is old, uh, my baby home. There's quite a few gatherers and crafters. I'll go to the first one by walking the show. Stuff like that, blah blah blah. Going forward, we'll go up to the Alchemist Guild first. You basically head up these stairs, walk over here. Up these stairs. You could teleport there if you have it unlocked already. Just you can like accept the quest or whatnot. Go over here. This way. Up here. Come into this big room. Really wish you could get a housing industry. It's like fucking hit the eighth right in order to help for you, whatever you need. And then here is the alchemist guild. This is alchemy for like plants and stuff. Talk to a receptionist. And this is your guild supplier. Every guild has one. Every class and gather quest and they sell you things. If you do not have a house, you buy stuff from the vendor. Um, this one sells like leather and hardships and stuff. Stuff you'll get from crafting and get. You can buy there with you. And down here is your guild master. Severian. Head to your eighth right, and then you can go to the Miner's Guild. This is your first gatherer. Sorry about the slow loading. Do not have an SSD. Basically, it's in the same area we were in. It's just downstairs, and it's right past, right here. There is your guild master. Your guild receptionist will have a blue quest above his head, and that will be how you start your mining. We will ask you some questions. Blah blah. blah. You will become a miner once you talk to. And then go to your guild master. There's two more here. There is Goldsmith. It's Goldsmith. Talk to your receptionist, blue quest above their head, and your master. There is Weaver's Guild. Down here is your Weaver's Guild for clock crafting. Again, talk to this guy, there will be a blue class, blue class above his head. Talk to him, and then A here is your Guild Master. Redolent, Rose, whatever. 
And he is your guild master. Oh, we. Now we have the Grenania. Sorry about the fallout girl. Cool. I turned that off. My bad. Oh, annoying. Waiting on loading screen. Okay. So our first gather. Actor in the Britannia is right here. Scarpner skill, wood cutting, whatnot, skill receptionist, not him, bust, and rage skill master. Over here, go to the Aetherite, and there is other workers guild. Okay, it's like you're skinning and wow, you skin monsters, I will get into it when we level that class. <laughs> I'm just doing no cuts, no editing, whatnot, just so it's easier for new players to find and easy to follow, so it's not just like I'm jumping around. There, this is the guild receptionist, blue quest about their head, and here's your guild master, Geva. Now, I would recommend for all your gatherers and crafters, do not worry about class quests unless you need shards. For the first, for the first up until level 10, you will get shards from your class quest, and then after that, it's just gear. And I will show you where to buy gear for your gatherers. Your botanist is right here. So a couple Your guild master is there. Uhu cha. And your receptionist is in here. Got the blue, blue quest above his head. A lot of people miss botanist because he's so. His guild master is right outside while his guild receptionist is inside. So it's going to be a good person. There's one more class to grab that I missed in Limza. Other than that, that is all crafters and gatherers for epic. If you enjoyed this guide to being all the crafters and gatherers in FF14, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. It really helps out. I'm not even joking. And I'm new to YouTube, so help me if you can. So your aetherite is down by the docks. 
This is your Fisherman's Guild. And I will put timestamps at each guild in the description. To help you people out who don't want to see all the walking, can just skip right to the grabbing the quest. Kill the receptionist, he will have a blue quest above his head for fishermen. And then your guild master is right here. He doesn't actually have it said, he's just a little water fellow wearing a fisherman's arm. And that is all the classes, gatherers and crafters in FF14 of Rome Reborn. If you like this, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Have a good fun. Leave a comment if you need any help. And if you would like to know what server I'm on, I'm on Midgard somewhere on Aether. I have a free company that I am trying to progress and make a better place. So if you like to, Hit me up. And have a beautiful day.